Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back. If you're new, welcome, welcome. My name is Georgia. So this P. Diddy case, more stuff is coming out. As he says, can't stop, won't stop. Just like how these lawsuits are coming at him. So let's read this article together. And I am also at the end, I'm going to link a video down below where, um, we have another well-known YouTuber who is actually reading or the, um, the case or the, the, um, the lawsuit word for word. And when I heard that one of my previous employers was involved, I'm like, I had to clutch my pearls. I was named. I said in the suit, I had to clutch my pearls. So let's read this article together. And then I'm going to tell you who my employer was. And it's a, it's a well-known company and, um, what was said. So we have the title says six people accused Sean Diddy Combs of sexual assault in new lawsuits. As you already know, um, there's 120 lawsuits already against him. So this is six more. Wow. Okay, so it says New York. A new wave of lawsuits filed Monday accuses Sean Diddy Combs of R in women, sexual SA men, and molesting a 16-year-old boy. At least six lawsuits were filed against the hip-hop mogul in federal court in Manhattan. They were filed anonymously. Two by women identified as Jane Doe's and four by men identifies as John Doe's. The accusers are part of what their lawyers say is a group of more than 100 alleged victims who are in the process of taking legal action against Combs in the wake of his SA arrest last month. Oh, so this is part of um, the press conference that was done. So these are the first six, I'm guessing. And I think I read somewhere where they said that um, some of the accusers were paid not to bring the case forward because there are other people named in the lawsuit. So I'm not sure if he's going to end up with still 120, but these six have already started. So continuing to read one of the John Doe's, a man living in North Carolina, alleged that Combs fondled his genitals when he was 16 at one of the rapper's famous white parties in Long Island Hamptons in 1998. The man alleged that during a conversation about possibly breaking into the music industry, Combs abruptly ordered the then teen to drop his pants. According to the, man, the man's lawsuit, Combs explained to him that it was a rite of passage to becoming a music star. At one point asking him, don't you want to break into the business? The man said he complied out of fear, anxiety, and power imbalance he felt with Combs, only realizing later that what had happened was S.A. Until Monday's lawsuit, Combs had only been accused of civil cases in his criminal indictment of S.A. with adults. Combs' lawyers and other representatives did not immediately respond to an email seeking comment. When the planned lawsuits were announced on October 1st, a lawyer said Combs cannot address every meritless allegation in what has become a reckless media circus. Combs, 54, has pleaded not guilty to racketeering, conspiracy, and S and S trafficking charges allege he coerced and abused women for years with help from a network of associates and employees while silencing victims through blackmail and violence, including kidnapping, arson, and physical beatings. Combs lawyers have been trying unsuccessfully to get the bad boy records found of freed on bail. He has been held at a Brooklyn federal jail since Septem his September 16th arrest. Two judges have concluded that Combs would be a danger to the community if he is released from the Metropolitan Detention Center, a facility that has been plagued by violence and dysfunction for years. At a bail hearing three weeks ago, a judge rejected a proposed 50 million bail package, including home detention and electronic monitoring. After concluding Combs might tamper with witnesses and obstruct a continuing investigation. On Friday, an appeals court judge denied Combs immediate release from jail while a three judge panel of the second U.S. Circuit Court of Appeal weighs his bail request. Other lawyers, other lawsuits filed Monday in U.S. District Court in Manhattan include allegations of R 
forced oral sex, and drugging to incapacitate victims. One of the Jane Doe suing combs alleged he art her in a locked hotel room in 2004 after he invited her and a friend there for a party, gave them drinks, and told them to snort the beautiful the, the white lady. The woman, then a college freshman, alleged Combs also forced her friend to perform oral sex on him and said he would have them both taken out of here if they didn't comply with his demands. The other Jane Doe alleged Combs violently attacked and art her in a bathroom in 2005 at a party for the late rapper Biggie Smalls music video One More Chance. According to the woman, Combs brought her into the bathroom to talk privately and then started kissing her unexpectedly. When she tried to pull away, she alleged he slammed her head against the wall, causing her to fall to the floor. The woman said she tried to escape, but Combs hit her again and art her. Afterward, according to the woman, Combs nonchalantly adjusted his clothing and told her, you better not tell anyone about this or you will disappear. In another Jane Doe law, John Doe lawsuit, a man working as a security guard at Combs Hampton's white party in 2006 alleged the star gave him an alcoholic beverage he came to believe was laced with a drug that made him feel extremely ill. The man alleged Combs then pushed him into a van, held him down, and essayed him. In the other lawsuit filed Monday, Combs is accused of forcing a man to perform oral sex on him in the stockroom of a Macy's flagship store in Manhattan's Herald Square in 2008 and essayed a man at a party in October 2021. Wow, that's recent. The latter man, who suspects a drugged beverage left him unable to fight back, recalls multiple men assaulting him and distinctively recalls seeing Combs above him naked at one point during the assault, his lawyer said. Wow. So those are the new six um, lawsuits that were filed. I remember at the top of the video, I told you that one of my employers was naming it. It is the... It is the one regarding Macy's. Macy's have a square. I work with Macy's um, until about 2010. I worked with them for 10 years, but it wasn't at that location. Even though I've been to that location to work, that wasn't my main store. And I remember him having a clothing line, Sean John, and it was very popular around that time. And I remember everybody wanted it. They were stealing them out of the store, grabbing and running. We had police officers buying them up or detectives buying them up because they had to work undercover. So they had to dress like the street guys. So they used to buy them a lot. And I remember them having a rival brand called Echo. And they were always competing for sales. So I remember that brand very well. So apparently this person who's found in the, the lawsuit worked for the rival brand Echo. And it seemed like he was in the store at the time. I believe Sean, John, um, Sean Diddy Combe was visiting the store to promote the new line because you know you come out with different designs so he was promoting the new line so it so happened that vendors will come into the store besides the regular sales associate vendors will come into the store to help push stock from out of the stock room get it on the floor to get it sold so apparently this vendor who worked for the rival brand echo was at the store that day when he came in somehow he ended up in the stock room with um with diddy and his bodyguards and according to the lawsuit um, in the video that I'm going to link below, it goes into detail what happened to him in the stock room. And he said he went to the security and, you know, reported it. Somehow it got buried. Soon after that, he was asked not to come back to that location. Um, then after that, the brand terminated him and he had to move out of New York because it was too expensive to live at the time. So now he's bringing the lawsuit. But from what I remember working at Macy's, I know there are a lot of cameras in that stock room especially if it's like a well-known brand and you know employees steal so that's why they also put that in place to deter theft but on and the vendors steal as well and try to blame it on the employees but i'm sure that act was caught on camera and somehow if if it did happen because you know this is alleged until proven if it did happen then um it would have been caught on camera and they would have had to bury the video but let's see where this goes um, I'm sure there will be more lawsuits coming out if these people aren't paid. 
And like I said, it's not just him alone in some of the lawsuits. There are other people involved who are being um, named. And because they don't want it to come out, people are paying off these victims. But every day we turn around, there is something new regarding Diddy and this lawsuit. So at this moment, he is appealing his um, rejection for bail. He had to go in front of a three-panel judge. And they are looking at it to see if they should let him out. Based on what, what, what was filed recently, yesterday, I don't know if they're going to let him out. We know that a date was set for his trial for May of 2025. He may just have to stay in there until then. And I'm sure that there is more to come. Wow. This guy rivals Epstein. What's the other one? R. Kelly. And the other one that's there still in jail. We know that Epstein took himself out, but there's another one. I forgot his name. Something Rapstein or something. But it seems like all these accusations against him, something you, so many people can't just be jumping in here and lying on him. Something is, something have to do with something, like I said. So I'm going to link Chronicle Speaks. That's another YouTube channel here. I'm going to link her video down below where she actually gets the um the lawsuit that was filed and she reads it word for word and it's detailed it's graphic and it's gonna make you put your your, your jaws are gonna drop your jaws gonna drop and you go put your hand over your face like really oh my god so i'm gonna link her down below make sure you go and watch her video or listen to it and um make sure you subscribe to the channel subtract if you're interested in celebrity news celebrity gossip reality tv review subscribe to my channel and um like this video and until next time be sure to take care of yourselves and your families bye bye